Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today. Um, I would like to discuss about the Paget's disease of nipple in this class. I would like to discuss about the Paget's disease of nipple in this class. So in Paget's disease, it is an of nipple. It is an eczematoid lesion of the nipple. Just a minute here. So in the Paget's disease of nipple, this is an eczematoid lesion of the nipple. This is the nipple. So this is the eczematoid lesion of the nipple where the nipples which are here, they are crusted, scaly and eczematoid. So there are two types of Paget's disease. Number one, where the mass is palpable. If you see the mass, the mass is palpable. That is the first type. In the second type, this mass is not palpable. Okay, one mass is palpable and the second one mass is not palpable. If mass is palpable, then you can say that it is infiltrating ductal carcinoma. If mass is palpable, then it is due to infiltrating ductal carcinoma. If the mass is not palpable, then it can be due to intraductal carcinoma. So you can differentiate Paget's disease by whether the mass is palpable or not. What generally happens? How does a person get Paget's disease? So if this is the nipple, okay, these are the alveoli and these are the ducts, lacticiferous ducts. Here okay, there will be lacticiferous sinus here and then it will open like this, okay. Now just think that, uh, I'll just magnify one of it. This is the outside skin. Now, if there is ductal carcinoma, if there is tumor here, think that if there is a ductal carcinoma here, this ductal carcinoma which is there, here in the duct, so this will migrate to the lacticiferous ducts, okay? And this will invade the skin of the nipple and areola and thus it causes skin lesions which you see here, okay? Grossly, if you see the nipple which is there and areola which is there, these are crusted, fissured and ulcerated. Because they are crusted, fissured and ulcerated, if you see there is oozing of serosanguinous material from these material from these things, you see serosanguinous discharge. So you see a discharge which is serosanguinous. And then uh, microscopically, if you see in microscopically, there are some cells which are called as paget cells. In Paget's disease of nipple, microscopically, histological section shows some cells which are called as paget cells. These cells are round, large, okay, and they contain hyperchromatic nuclei. Round, large, and they contain hyperchromatic nuclei with increased nucleocytoplasmic ratio. And also, there is a cytoplasmic halo surrounding it. Surrounding it, there is a halo which is cytoplasmic halo. Okay, this is cytoplasmic halo. Okay, so this cytoplasmic halo, it is positive for a stain which is called as mucic carmine. It is positive for this mucic carmine. So these cells are called as paget cells. This is characteristic histological feature which you see in paget's disease. Now what is the clinical features? Because there is a skin lesion here, you see a hard nodule. So you see a hard nodule, this is hard, okay. This is a nodule and this hard nodule slowly it will ulcerate. And this will destroy the nipple, it causes destruction. Okay, so these are the different clinical features you see, you see. A hard nipple, hardened nodule which will ulcerate. Okay, so this is this this is about the Paget's disease. Uh, treatment: you'll have to remove the lesions, and you'll also have, have to also treat the intraductal carcinoma also. So this is about Paget's disease. So thank you guys for watching my lecture. Uh, thank you.